Miami Heat Nation, what is going on? As y'all see, we back with another work video. Anyways, today we are going to be talking about Lonzo Ball. And the reason why I want to talk about Lonzo Ball is because I believe the Miami Heat should take the risk on bringing in him to the roster. So if you guys didn't know, um, the Chicago Bulls did trade for Josh Giddy because they were looking for replacements to get Lonzo Ball off the team. Um, Lonzo Ball hasn't played in the last few years. His body is breaking down, I will say that, um, and just hasn't been healthy. But in podcasts and a few workout videos, he says he plans to be back um, this upcoming season. So he hasn't played in two years. Very unfortunate because I thought if he played, he would definitely have a solid career. So in this article, it says a trade or buyout for Lonzo could be likely. I don't think anybody will be trading for Lonzo, so I could definitely see a bio, and that makes Lonzo a free agent. And this is where the Miami Heat can hop on it. Um, it says, who's on a $21.4 million expiring contract is preparing to play sometime next season after not suiting up. Now, let me just show you the numbers of Lonzo Ball when he was healthy. So these are the years that he been in the NBA, obviously, right? The Lakers years, we all know what happened with that. But... Um, his most recent with the Chicago Bulls played 35 games, averaged 34 minutes a game, averaging 13 points a game, five rebounds and five assists. One thing about Lonzo Ball is that he's a solid defender. I feel like he could fit Heat culture. Um, we all love guards that know how to play defense. Um, his playmaking is pretty exception, uh, pretty good. And also he has improved his shot dramatically because it was a time and place where Lonzo Ball couldn't shoot the ball for nothing. His shot was horrendous and then obviously went in the gym got a new trainer fixed his shot um is shooting pretty pretty good so you're getting a point guard that is like a two-way in a sense um so you know i'm definitely want to take the risk and then when he was on um pelicans he's averaging damn there 15 points a game so he has a skill talent like i feel like his final base can be averaging a triple double or damn there like nine rebounds nine assists like he has the talent and then when you just look at his three-point percentage, which is a few things that I look at, dude, last time he played, he shot 42% from the three-point line, shooting damn near eight attempts. Eight attempts. At the 42% at eight attempts is pretty damn impressive. So you're taking not even a huge risk at all because, like I said, it's on the expiring deal, so you have him for this season. I'm pretty sure you're going to get him for very, very cheap because a lot of teams probably don't want to pay him. You don't know what you're going to get out of him. He hasn't played in two seasons. And and if he plays great, you can lock him up. You can lock him up for the season or for the next few years. It just makes sense. It just, why wouldn't you want to take this gamble? Because when you look at the Miami Heat, their roster isn't really constructed well. Outside of Tyler and Terry, there's no guards. Are you going to bring back Patty Mills? That's not a player that we want back on the Miami Heat at all. So this is the reason why I'm willing to take the risk and bring in Lonzo Ball as our backup point guard. Why the hell not? And then if he does pan out very, very well, he could be our future point guard when Terry's gone or we trade Terry and flip him. I just think it makes sense. But let us know in the comment section what you guys think and follow for more Miami Heat content.